Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings gents, I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Did you ever wish that your Rex Ambassador just had a little bit longer handle on it? I have, first time I used it I thought the only thing that could make this razor better is if it had a little bit longer handle. Well, guess what? Wishes do come true. I'm not Aladdin, but we do have the Rex Ambassador with an XL handle. Let's open it up. Here's the box that it comes in. Just slide it out. Easier said than done. There we go. Slide that out. Remove the cover. Remove the card. Warranty card. It does come with a lifetime warranty, by the way. Remove this gray cover, and here's the razor stowed comfortably inside. Let's remove it. Whoa, big difference. Now you can rest it in your palm and spin. Let's do a comparison side by side. Here we go. Look at that. Standard XL or extra long handle. The knurling on the handle is the same, still super grippy. I do have a video with the Standard Rex Ambassador, so I'll put a link up there, you can check it out. But today I'm going to perform a shave with this extra long handle Rex Ambassador razor and put it through its paces and see how it performs. So I do love the feel of it. 316L stainless steel, brushed finish. It's a sure grip knurled handle, infinitely adjustable blade gap, so you can go from one to six or anywhere in between. It's not positive click, it's just a smooth turn type dial. It is individually serial numbered and the date code is in line with the Gillette system. It has a lifetime warranty. The specs on the razor, the standard is 3.5 inches long or 87 millimeters and the weight is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. The extra long handle version, the length is 4.2 inches or 107 millimeters and the weight is 4.2 ounces or 119 grams. The blade gap is the same on both 0.012 inches to 0.052 inches. So you can go from aggressive to medium to mild all in this one razor. And with the extra long handle have a lot more fun doing so. It has numbers from 1 to 6 right here and then there's a red dot on the dial, which is right on the top of the dial. If you can make that out, there's a red dot. That's your adjustment spot right there. So I'll perform a shave with it, and I will start at the six. I'll do a three pass shave. I'll do six, three, one. That's how I like to do it. If you differ when you use an adjustable, let me know down below what you prefer. I'd like to hear about it. Let's install a blade. Just unscrew the handle and you'll see it drop down. There, drop down, and then once it drops down, you can remove the top cap. I'll use a Gillette silver blue blade today. Let's remove that from the paper. Here's a look at it, Gillette silver blue. The razor kind of reminds me of a Gillette Fat Boy, so I'll use a Gillette razor blade inside of it. Make sure the blade is placed directly over the slots, and then just drop it right in. It can go on either way, it's bi-directional, and then Tighten the knob at the bottom. When I make my adjustments, I like to have it a little bit loose. I'm going to set it at 6 and then tighten it all the way down. So there it is. It's all the way down. You can see the blade reveal is perfect. Today I'll be using fine 21st century shave soap. This is the Barber Blue. This is brand new. just came out. This just arrived at Shave Nation. And then I'll use the Shave Nation synthetic brush. This is a nice hefty satin black handle brush, synthetic, a nice knot on it, nice soft knot, and pretty thick and dense. Let's fill up our marble cup with some hot water. Synthetic brush, we don't need to soak it too much, just drop it right in there. That's what it looks like once it's wet. You can see how they flare out and develop a little cavern inside. That happens with a lot of synthetic brushes. That's normal. Badger brushes normally don't do that. I'll use the Shave Nation ceramic bowl, lather spot at the bottom. Let's warm it up under the hot water as well. It's ceramic, so it will retain some heat. 
remove the cap on this Barber Blue. I'll just take my little mini spoon. I'm just going to scoop out a little bit right off the top. Not too much, about the size of an almond. About that much, we'll just drop that right down into the bottom of the lather bowl. Right down there in the bottom. You can swirl your brush right in here or you can scoop out a little bit like I did and put it down in the bottom of the bowl. Let's remove the Shape Nation brush from the marble cup, pour out the water. Give it a couple shakes to remove the bulk of that water. Let's go right in here and see if we can mix a lather. Just push the tips down into the bottom of the soap and into the bottom of the lather spot down there. And you can see that very quickly some suds are coming up around the edge. Scoop that back down. Ooh, that smells really nice. It smells fantastic. It's more of a floral. It's a highly floral barbershop type scent. Look at that lathers up really quickly and easily. Nothing to it. Man down. I lost a little bit there. That's okay. We have plenty. We have enough for two or three passes already in just 30 seconds or so. Look at that. Good stuff. Look at that. Lots of lather right there. The scent profile on this Barber Blue Shaving Soap. This effervescent fougere features crisp top notes of lemon, lime, and orange, layered over hints of herbs, florals, and leather. Like I said, it's more floral than it is. Usually your barber shops are leather and talc. This one is, it's got a little bit more floral to it, but I still do get some of the other scents as well. All right, no problem with the lather. Let me warm up my face, we'll get right to the shave. All right, my face is good and warm. Let's grab our brush and our shaving soap and lather up. Start on the side and work our way over to the other side. No problem with having enough lather. Nice and thick, goes on easily, lathered up. Smells fantastic. Mm, really smells nice and sweet. Under the nose. No problem directing it exactly where you want it to go with this brush. Drive that shaving cream right into the beard. Little figure eight, smooth everything out. Let's clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go. Here's a look at the razor loaded up with the Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Here they are side by side. Standard and XL. All right, let's warm it up under the hot water. As I said, I have it set on six, right there. Let's find our angle. This will be the most aggressive setting. So we'll just take it nice and easy. Removing my beard very easily. Filled up with shaving cream and stubble. You can see that. Let's flip it over right down the neckline. Excellent. Both sides are full. Let's rinse that. Rinse it out very easily. Now the left side, find that angle. Work your way down. Filled up. Flip it over. Lots of stubble on there. Right down the neckline. Excellent. Very aggressive. Taking my beard off, no problem whatsoever. 
I did have several days of beard growth and it's removing it quickly, easily, effortlessly. Now under the nose. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's rinse that. One pass complete. If you're smooth enough, you can stop right now. But we're gonna lather up, do one more. Plenty of lather, just a thin coating this time. It does smell very nice. Little figure eight. Clear the runways again so we can see those sideburns. Okay, now I'm just going to loosen the handle a little bit. We're going to lower it down to a three. Six, five, four, three. Red dot on the three. Let's tighten it back up all the way. All right, here we go against the grain. Now it's less aggressive. I can feel the difference. Rinse that. Rinse it out very easily. Now against the grain on the neck area. Very good. Rinse that. Now across the mustache. Okay, very good. Two passes complete. Let's lather up. We'll rinse, we'll lather up, we'll do a quick finishing pass. On the lowest setting of one. Just a little bit of cream now. Okay, loosen it up. Let's take it down to a one. Okay, then retighten it all the way down to one. So this will be the mildest setting. If you have mild beard growth, shave with it on a one. Here we go, against the grain on the neck. Very smooth for a finishing pass. Now you can whip it around. Rinse that. Let's ride the cap straight up. Just put the rounded portion on the skin, tilt up until it catches. Nothing here and no feedback, but now, there you go. Find that sweet spot. This gets you baby smooth on the cheeks. The other side. Same way. Excellent. Super smooth now. Let's rinse that. Now right up the chin. And the mustache. Stopping just short of the nose. Very good, nice and clean. Perfect. All right, let's rinse that. Now let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap, just glide that all around the areas you shaved. Seal off any small nicks, give you a little bit of feedback. If you get a lot of stinging, you went too close. Very little stinging for a three pass shave. Very good. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds, then rinse it off. Pat the face dry.
Let's finish up, I have some Parasso Refreshing and Toning. This is the Menthol and Eucalyptus Balm. This will give you some tingle and some protection. It's a nice thick balm, a little bit of that in the fingertips. Great wake up call in the morning, right here. Massage that in. Nice and tingly, menthol scent, eucalyptus. Doesn't really line up with the barbershop scent, but that's what I had right here. So I'm using it. And I do like the feel of this anyway. All right, let's take a final look at the Rex Ambassador XL, extra long handle. You can see that it took me easily from heavy beard growth to super smooth in a quick three pass shave with the cross and against the grain. Very nice result. I'm very satisfied with it. The razor feels great. You can grip this razor, this knurling on the handle, very precise. And you could grip this razor with wet fingers or shaving cream on your fingers, no problem whatsoever. And then the knob fits directly in the palm where you can spin it, very comfortable to shave with. The rounded edges, very easy to get underneath the nose, fits in there perfectly. And then the adjustment feature, you can go 631. Some people like to go 136. If you do it a different way, again, let me know down below. I'd like to hear about it. And it does have the Rex logo on the bottom and the serial number. And by the way, it is made in the good old USA. For more details, check out the website, shavenation.com. Just enter Rex Ambassador, it'll pop right up. The Rex Ambassador Adjustable Safety Razor XL. 316L stainless steel brushed finish, sure grip knurled handle, infinitely adjustable blade gap, easy twist adjustment settings one to six, individually serial numbered, date code in line with Gillette system, lifetime warranty. Approximate dimensions on the XL, length 4.2 inches or 107 millimeters, weight 4.2 ounces, 119 grams. The blade gap is 0.012 inches to 0.052 inches. If you buy it at Shave Nation, you can choose your serial number. We have them listed out. You can pick one that appeals to you and you can get the standard or the extra long handle. Either one of these razors will fit in the Rex stainless steel stand, which is made to match it. So you can pick up the stainless steel stand or the matching travel case here as well. The Shave Nation ceramic lather bowl performed quite well. No problem mixing lather with the Shave Nation brush right here, the synthetic brush. The razor performed flawlessly. The Gillette Silver Blade, perfect, nice, sharp, comfortable, smooth, excellent shaving blade. And the fine Barber Blue shaving soap smells fantastic. Actually smells better than I thought it would. It smells really good. Check it out. The Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, excellent finish to the shave. Natural product, soothing, calming, antiseptic. Put it on, rinse it off, apply your aftershave. The Parasso Menthol and Eucalyptus Aftershave Balm, very refreshing, great wake up call in the morning. That's about it. The Rex Ambassador Extra Long Handle Double Edge Safety Razor. Get yours at ShaveNation.com. Do me a favor before I head out, please smash that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell up there so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says show more and you can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box and it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.